San Siro is one of the greatest stadiums in the world. If Probably the greatest. Yeah, after the Parc des Princes. But if you haven't been, please go. Uh, and Milan and Inter wanted to jointly build the ground next door to it. A new ground. It needs really a lot of TLC. Uh, so why are they not threatening to leave Milan okay. altogether, Gav? So as you know, this is a story very close to my heart, not least because I was born in a clinic directly yes. across the street from uh, the uh, Stadio Giuseppe Mazza, a.k.a. San Siro. Um, this whole thing, I mean, people are upset already that they wanted to, originally, that they're, they're, they're going to move. But the reality is it can't be redeveloped in its current state yeah. into a lucrative uh, stadium until morning. It's like, like, a like a live, like a Bernabeu, for example. You yeah. can't do that. You can't do it. I, I don't think it's in such horrendous shape. I don't also, not one of those people that, I don't really care about stadiums that much as long as the sight lines are good. I mean, I think you probably could have refurbished it, but maybe not to the level where it's going to make you money. Yeah, yeah. And that's obviously what Inter Milan want to do because look around Europe and they say, oh, look, match day revenue, we can put 70,000 people in there, but we can't charge them as much as, as other clubs that mm. we develop. So they were going to build a stadium next door. They had two very cool projects, actually, and that's this whole thing. But now bureaucratic red tape, which is what has destroyed um, anybody wanting to build anything in Italy for the last uh, 20 years. Um, the process is getting slower and slower. I mean, they introduced the project in 2019. Now it's just looking like the deadline is, you know, 20, 2025, 2026, 2027. That's crazy. So they're saying, like, look, you know, if we have to build a stadium somewhere outside the city limits, we will do that. Um, I'm a bit of my own personal view, and I do have you know skin in this game because it's my city. Yeah, I don't want you to build a stadium outside no. the city limits. I want you to either stay in the stadium as it is, or you build the one next door. Yeah, I agree with you. And I think some of the, and I think some of the politicians have to realize there's going to be a real backlash over this. You know, we've just about come up to the idea that you're going to go next door. Fine. And you need to have a space for everybody in Milan. There's going to be a whole bunch of different things. That's fine. But you can't just slow it down for this reason. And I don't think they're going to go somewhere else. Yeah. But it's more of a threat than anything else, you think? To I would hope sure. so. But a threat has to be credible, right? Otherwise, yeah. they just laugh at you. Ha ha, you're never going to leave. Yeah. And then and we know it. Yeah. Exactly. This was back on Monday, but God, Milan could not get past Bologna in a nil nil draw. This means that if Inter win their game in hand, we would have three teams in the space of one point in what is an incredible title race in Serbia. Yes, to quote Sir Alex Ferguson, squeaky bum yeah, time. Big time. Uh, Milan had 33 shots on goal, oh, like no. 2.3 XG or something in that game. I, I think it was a level of misfortune there, yeah, but yeah. it's super, super touch. Inter's game in hand, by the way, against Bologna, Bologna. as well. Yeah. Talking about spoilers there. Uh, it's super tight. I am, I'm, I'm psyched. I'm, yeah, I'm hyped and am. Of course you have to be. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.